My fellow nationals living throughout the diaspora, at this time of global economic and social distress, it is especially important for our people to work and strive together within our families, to pull and band together within our communities, and to plan, adjust, and stand together as one, whatever challenges these global situations may throw our way. And so although you no longer live in St. Kitts and Nevis, because our bonds of kinship and origin transcend both distance and time, I think it is important that I speak with you during this time of global tumult. I want to begin to speak to you directly and regularly regarding my government's unrelenting efforts to promote stability and progress in our country whatever external challenges may come our way. Today's message then will be the first, the first in a series of bi-weekly, shall we say, reports to you. I mentioned earlier the global economic crisis. Let me quickly say that your government has always embraced cautious investment strategies. And this has saved us the trauma currently being experienced by many other nations around the world. But at the same time, tourism does constitute a major component of our economy, providing jobs for thousands of our citizens and bringing revenue into our treasury. And so my government is on alert and devising strategies to mitigate any impact that the global crisis may have on prospective travelers to our country. I will have more to say about this at a later date, but I just thought that I should quickly bring you up to date on that front. What I wish really to discuss today is crime, particularly gang-related crime. And I want to outline for you my government's aggressive three-pronged strategy in our battle against this scourge. Firstly, we have joined forces with international law enforcement agencies like the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, like the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and the Regional Security Services, so as to deliver a broad spectrum assault against gangs. Secondly, because gang violence is a societal problem demanding society-wide action, my government convened a national consultation on crime on December the 12th last year, 2008. There, I made it absolutely clear that every single individual, every family unit and organization in our country is going to have to do something different from this point forward. We'll have to think up or embrace some kind of action, no matter how small, to help shatter the appeal of gang culture to susceptible Kittishan and Nivision children if we are to stand any chance whatsoever of winning this life and death battle. Thirdly, the top brass of our police force, our defense force, our Coast Guard and our Customs Department are all collaborating more intensely than ever before in response to my clear order that criminals be confronted as if we are in a state of war. And so my fellow nationals, present at that December consultation on crime in an outstanding demonstration of patriotism were our leaders, our leaders of every political party in the Federation. Medical and Bar Association executives were there, entertainment and media practitioners, church and school leaders, and security, youth, and business representatives as well. In fact, the entire nation was standing as one in this consultation. And so my fellow nationals, I am confident that our nation's security forces and our own criminal justice system will bring existing criminals to justice. But your and my behavior, standards and involvement can prevent that constant creation of new criminals in this our beloved country, St. Kitts and Nevis. You in the diaspora, 
are an important part of our society. We would welcome your contribution and I ask you to join with us as partners in this most important national cause. My fellow nationals, I thank you.